or when you first decide that you need to move your home, you're gonna be confronted with a few key questions that you need the answers to. Like number one, when is this move taking place? And number two, where am I gonna be moving to? But the third and probably most common for most people is how much is this gonna cost? Now, we can't provide all the answers to these things in the video, but we can give you a good idea of what it might cost to move your house with a moving company. Now, keep in mind, as we talk about pricing, these are gonna be approximations. The cost of your move will be influenced by a lot of different factors. So first, how much does it cost to move a house? And let's base that on the size of a home because that's easy for some reference. When you're first obtaining quotes from movers, you're gonna be asked a few questions. Things like, how many bedrooms are you gonna be moving? Are there other rooms like a den or a basement or a back patio? And moving companies are gonna ask these questions because it helps them approximate the size of your home and that helps them know how many crew members they're gonna need for your move. But it'll also help them gauge how large the shipment might be so they know the size of the truck that they need to send to load up your goods. Now for local moves, you can expect to pay maybe somewhere in these ranges depending on the number of bedrooms in your home. If you've got a two bedroom home, think $1,500 to $2,500. If you're in more of a three bedroom home, maybe $2,500 to $3,500. And if you're in a four bedroom home or larger, maybe $3,500 to $5,000. Most local moves with a full service moving company will be accomplished in about a day with somewhere between two to four people on the crew. Next, let's talk about the approximate cost for moving for long distance or interstate moves. Now keep in mind this pricing is for about a thousand miles in distance. If it moves longer or shorter than this, obviously your move quote will differ. But if you got a two bedroom home, you could think about five to seven thousand dollars. If you have a three bedroom home, maybe seven thousand to ten thousand. And if you have a four bedroom home or larger, maybe eleven to thirteen thousand. Next up, how much does it cost to move according to the amount of items that you have? So we just reviewed those pricing options when it comes to hiring movers according to the number of rooms in your home. And that's a good way of doing it. But you might even be able to obtain a better idea of how much your move is gonna cost if you can understand the amount of goods you have to move. So let's break this down into more detail. Pretend for the moment we're gonna talk about two moves. They're gonna happen on the same day, they cover the same distance, but a move that involves more furniture or boxes is gonna be more expensive. And hopefully that makes sense. With more items involved in one move over another, the moving crew is gonna to have to work longer to load and unload those items. And in addition to that, more goods typically is gonna mean more packing materials, more space on the truck, and maybe even more fuel to get it to destination. So let's talk about pricing based on the amount of goods you have in your home. And let's start with local moves. For local moves, you might expect to pay between about $1,500 and $3,000 if you have just a small amount of goods in your home. Think uh, just a, a small studio apartment, maybe a couple of rooms, but not a lot in it. If you're more of an average household, it might be $3,000 to $4,000. And if you have a house that's a little more full, maybe all the rooms are a little cluttered and you might have more going on, it could be $4,000 to $5,500. But let's talk about interstate moves. This is again gonna be calculated with a distance of about 1,000 miles. And most customers who hire long distance movers are going to pay about $18,000 or less for an interstate move, but again, your circumstances could differ. That's just a number to use for budgeting. If you have a small amount of goods, maybe think four to $7,000. Again, if you're in that average house range, six to $10,000 to move 1,000 miles. And if you have a lot of goods in your home, maybe it's more like 11,000 to 15,000. Now again, with any of these ballpark figures, the numbers are not gonna include all the services that moving customers might require for their local or long distance move. For example, these numbers aren't including any packing services or storage, any fees for international moving over air or shipment. Car transports or full service valuation, that's not included here. So there are additional options that might increase your prices. If you're looking for a more concrete price for your move, feel free to give us a call. Our estimators are trained to provide people who are looking to move to or from both Colorado and Utah or anywhere in the world with accurate moving estimates. You can meet them in your home or virtually to get an accurate price.